coils here. Each coil will uh, go to each individual spark plug, and that's how you will get your uh, power to run the engine. There's no distributor. And uh, uh, the, three, the three pedals on the floor, none of them, none of them is the gas uh, pedal. Your gas is controlled by the column right here. As you can hear, it, that's going to give you gas. And uh, there's also, um, you can advance and retard the timing, and that's very important when you go to start it. So the way we're going to get moving with this, I'm going to put it into a neutral position, and when I give it gas, I'm going to step on this pedal, we'll go forward. The middle pedal will allow us to go reverse. So here we go. At a high and a low speed. Right now we're in low. Okay, now I'll go forward a little bit more. I do want to go to the reverse. My, the brake is like on a, on a modern car. That'll break you. And then the middle pedal will put us into reverse. And you constantly are adjusting your speed by the throttle on the control here. Okay, back to the brake. And we're gonna go forward a little. And I'm gonna watch out for your brother, Paul, so we don't hit him. Hey, Paul. And we can make a big U-turn. I'll open up the hood for a minute to can show you the engine. It's a 20 horsepower engine. Um, Henry Ford made, I believe it's 13 million of these. Uh, the only car that outproduced it was the Volkswagen Beetle, as far as production goes. 1909 to 1927. And then the Model A came about. Now, was this owned by Charlie Antonin? Yes, correct. And he drove it? He, uh, I'm not sure about whether he drove it or not, but he, he definitely donated it to it's us. It's in the family. Okay, I'm going to put the emergency brake on. And it's very difficult to get out this way, so you're going to get out first, and I'll follow you. Back on again. This is called a Hack Depot and uh, a little bit of history about it back in those days this was used quite often to take um, passengers from like a railroad station to a hotel and uh, it's kind of like a station wagon kind of thing i have a 1925 plate on there hundred years old. Another few years to go, another three years, it'll be a hundred years old. Yeah. Here's your engine, four cylinder, 20 horsepower. If you take note to the where the radiator cap is, if you take a note to that, uh, if you look maybe in this direction, You'll see what looks like a thermometer, and that's exactly what it does. That's going to tell you if you're overheating or not overheating. Uh, just like when your mom used to put a thermometer in your mouth to see if you had a fever, this will rise when it gets too hot. If it gets way to the top and don't move, you've got to shut it down and let it cool off.
Like here's your windshield wiper. She starts raining. <laughs> Station? Yeah. Okay. Tell me when you're on. I'm on. All right. Uh, the design of this body was mostly used quite often to take passengers when they got off of a train to bring them to their hotel. Uh, they put their luggage either in here or in the back and uh, the chauffeur would try, uh, transport them to their hotel. Uh, used quite often for that. Also a couple of different variations. Uh, when the seats were not in here, peddlers would put shelves and actually sell goods right from here. Okay, so that, that's another way it was used as well. Uh, where uh, uh, fruit and vegetables uh, would be sold from directly from the, uh, uh, from the truck. Uh, there's two types of Model T's. This is a Model T. There's also one called a Model TT, which is a heavier duty, um, uh, more like a, a bigger truck uh, appearance to it. But it would still have the same engine. The engine isn't, doesn't change. 